the Pentagon recently made a decision that surprised a lot of people, including many inside the defense world. Billions of dollars are now being invested in a fighter jet design that first flew back in the 1970s. At a time when China and Russia are racing to show off stealth aircraft that claim to be nearly invisible, the United States is choosing to buy more of a jet that has been flying for decades. That aircraft is the F-15EX. This jet does not rely on stealth coatings or radar tricks. It does not pretend to be invisible. In fact, it shows up clearly on enemy radar. And yet, the United States Air Force cannot get enough of them. Senior military leaders are calling it a game changer. Defense experts say it could outperform Russia's Su-57 and China's J-20 in real-world combat. Even more importantly, many believe this aircraft could help preserve American air dominance for the next 30 years. That alone is something to be proud of. Proud of. American engineering that values performance over hype. Proud of technology that works when it truly matters. Proud of decisions based on experience, not marketing slogans. This story is not about nostalgia. It is not about avoiding progress or saving money by cutting corners. It is about a major shift in how America plans to fight and win wars in the sky. The F-15EX proves that newer does not always mean better. Sometimes the smartest path forward is improving something that already works exceptionally well. By the end of this video, you will understand why a fighter jet with roots in the Cold War may be exactly what the United States needs right now, and why Americans have every reason to be proud of this technology and the people who built it. Welcome to Nuke Aviator. For many years, the Air Force had a serious problem that most civilians never noticed. By around 2020, more than 200 older F-15 C and D models were reaching the end of their service life. These were not just aging jets. They were worn out. Structural cracks were appearing in critical areas. Maintenance costs were climbing rapidly. Some of these aircraft had been flying operational missions since the Reagan administration. Pilots were flying jets that should have been retired long before, but grounding them was not an option. These aircraft had a mission that no other platform could fully replace. They defend American airspace 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Every year, F-15s scramble to intercept Russian bombers approaching Alaska. They respond to unidentified aircraft near U.S. coastlines. They remain on constant alert to protect American cities from aerial threats. So the obvious question came up. Why not just replace them with stealth fighters? On paper, that sounds logical. In reality, it does not work. The F-35 is a powerful aircraft, but it costs roughly $36,000 per flight hour to operate. When you are flying constant patrols over the United States, those costs rise extremely fast. Even more important, the F-35 was never designed for this role. It was built to penetrate enemy territory, not to sit on alert carrying maximum weapons. Loadouts for homeland defense. That forced Air Force planners to rethink their assumptions. What if stealth was not always the most important factor? That question changed everything. That F-15 EX Eagle II is not an old aircraft pulled out of storage. It is essentially a brand new fighter built on a proven design. Boeing took decades of experience from advanced F-15 variants sold to Allied nations and redesigned the aircraft specifically. For American requirements, the results surprised a lot of people. The F-15 EX can carry nearly 30,000 pounds of weapons. That is more than five times the payload of an F-35. It can carry large numbers of air-to-air -air missiles, long-range strike weapons, and heavy munitions all at once. Its top speed exceeds Mach 2.5, meaning it can travel faster than 1,900 miles per hour. Inside the cockpit, nothing feels outdated. The systems are fully digital. The radar can track dozens of targets at extreme distances. Its electronic warfare systems are designed to jam, confuse, and overwhelm enemy sensors. This aircraft was built to survive in highly contested airspace. One of the most important features is its service life. The F-15EX is designed to fly for 20,000 hours. That means an aircraft purchased today could still be flying combat missions decades from now. Many of these jets may still be in service when today's children are adults. That level of long-term planning is something to be proud of. Another key advantage is logistics. Because the F-15EX shares many components with older F-15 models, the Air Force did not need to rebuild its support system. Maintenance crews already knew how to work on the jet. Spare parts were already available. Bases already had the necessary infrastructure. These aircraft could enter service quickly, without years of preparation. That is something no brand new stealth fighter can match. Now let's address the issue that always comes up. Why buy a non-stealth aircraft in the modern era? Because stealth is powerful, but it is not universal. Stealth is best used during the opening phase of a conflict. When enemy air defenses are at their strongest, that is where aircraft like the F-22 and F-35 excel. But the majority of Air Force missions do not require invisibility. They require speed, reliability, endurance, and firepower. But when Russian bombers approach Alaska, stealth does not matter. Speed and response time do. When enforcing no-fly zones, stealth adds cost without adding value. When carrying large hypersonic weapons, stealth aircraft simply do not have the space. That led the Air Force to a critical realization. 
in a major conflict, they would need more than stealth fighters. They would need missile carriers, aircraft capable of launching large volumes of weapons from long distances while stealth aircraft handled the most dangerous penetration missions. The F-15 EX fills that role perfectly. Even more interesting, the aircraft does not try to hide from radar. Instead, it uses its visibility strategically. By drawing enemy attention, it allows stealth aircraft to maneuver freely. This coordinated approach increases overall effectiveness and survivability. That is not outdated thinking. That is experienced talking. Testing confirmed these advantages. During simulated engagements against advanced threats modeled after the J-20 and Su-57, the F-15EX consistently detected targets early, used its electronic warfare systems effectively, and fired first from greater distances. That is how modern air combat is one. Cost is another major factor. Each F-15EX costs around $80 million to purchase, similar to an F-35. However, it is significantly cheaper to operate over a 30-year service life. The savings amount to billions of dollars. Even more impressive is how quickly the aircraft entered service. Boeing already had a production line in place. The first F-15EX flew in early 2021. By 2024, it was already operational. That timeline is extremely rare in modern defense programs. On time, on budget. That alone should make taxpayers proud. The aircraft also offers unique mission flexibility. The F-15EX will be the first U.S. fighter capable of carrying next-generation hypersonic missiles. These weapons travel at several times the speed of sound and can strike targets hundreds of miles away. No stealth aircraft can carry them internally. The aircraft also includes a second seat. This allows one crew member to fly while the other manages sensors, coordinates with allied aircraft, and controls unmanned systems. The Air Force plans to use the F-15EX as a command platform for autonomous drones, greatly increasing combat power without risking more pilots. There is also serious consideration of using the aircraft as a future electronic warfare platform. With its power capacity and payload space, it could replace aging jamming aircraft and protect entire formations of U.S. fighters. No other aircraft currently combines speed, range, payload, sensors, and adaptability in the same way. Other nations have noticed Israel has expanded its F-15 fleet. Saudi Arabia is requesting more. Indonesia and Egypt are showing interest. These countries are all reaching the same conclusion. They want aircraft that work now, deliver serious firepower, and remain relevant for decades. China and Russia are paying attention as well. After investing heavily in stealth technology, they are watching a non-stealth aircraft outperform their most advanced fighters and simulations. That reality matters. Right now, F-15 EX aircraft are already flying missions over the United States. They are replacing older fighters at critical locations, including in the Pacific region. They will operate alongside F-35s and F-22s, forming a layered force where each aircraft plays to its strengths. And while the United States works on its future sixth-generation fighter, the F-15EX holds the line. That is not flashy. That is responsible. The F-15EX proves a powerful lesson. In a world obsessed with the newest and loudest technology, true strength comes from capability. The Air Force chose what works, not what looks impressive in headlines. They chose an aircraft that can fight today, tomorrow, and decades into the future. Our pilots deserve that. Our allies depend on that. And our nation is safer because of it. Overhead, day and night, the eagle still flies. If you are a proud American citizen, proud of this technology, and proud of the men and women who defend this country, write proud in the comments.